Good day, people. God bless. This is an episode of God Loves You. I'm Minister Marcus Jackson. Thank Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ for another blessed day. Be born again and repent from your sins. Start fresh and stop sinning. Sin is disobeying Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ and their rules. Sin ends in death. Love makes you evolve. Faith seals your fate. B, C, and A, D. We're on God's time. Love Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ with all your heart, mind, and soul. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Today I'm going to be talking about the church. Today's topic is about the church. Be the church. Go to church. Make a turn from being cursed. Be the church, go to church, make a turn from being cursed. Many people go to church to find God when all you have to do is read your Bible and obey God's rules and do what God tells you to do in the Bible and what Jesus tells you to do in the Bible. However, if you work or don't have the time, make time for church at the very least. Most people go to church on Sunday, every Sunday, once a week. Church usually lasts no more than two hours. Church means a building used for Christian worship. In the internet age, church can be done on the internet or with videos like me. The body is God's temple. And if you profess Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ, you are the church. And the truth and righteousness lives in you. Almighty Jesus Christ didn't have a building to preach from or go to. His body was the church. And Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ's words and rules made up the church. It is written in 1 Corinthians 3.17. If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy, and you are that temple. Be the church. Go to church. Make a turn from being cursed. Churches, buildings that people own are based on denominations. Denominations are different groups of Christians mostly with all or sometimes the same beliefs. And beliefs are that Jehovah God and Jesus Christ are God and the Son of Man, the Son of God. There are 350,000 churches in America with thousands of denominations. But it is what it is spelled like, denomination. Demons divide the nation of God. These denominations have different beliefs that are different than the word Jesus taught and the words and truth and rules Jehovah God taught in the beginning of the Bible. There are over 10 million churches in the world. Some denominations are Jehovah Witness, Baptist, Catholics, Methodists, Orthodox, Protestant, Pentecostal, Christ churches. Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ says we are to be Christians, followers of what Jesus Christ did. Not go for this or go for that or make up our own rules like the denominations did. That's what these denominations did. Instead of doing exactly what Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ told them to do, and Matthew and Exodus and Leviticus and Numbers, Deuteronomy and Mark and John and, and, and the rest of the Bible, they made up their own rules. Demons divide the nation. 
of Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ. So be the church or go to church. Make a turn from being cursed. Churches have been here since the beginning of time. When Moses freed the Israelites, Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ instructed Moses and Aaron to build a church with priests and high priests. When Almighty Jesus Christ died, the faithful started a church in the first century. Some duties of the church are attend church at least once a week, pray for the church, support the church, try to bring others to church, contribute to the church, be the church, go to church, make a turn from being cursed. The church is made up of a minister, pastor, or preacher. They are the person that preaches over the church service. An associated minister, he also preaches usually after the minister or the minister is away. Executive minister, they preach also, usually after the minister or when the minister is away. Minister of finance, they oversee the money and the collection plates. Minister of education, they oversee Sunday schools and vacation Bible schools and anything with education of Almighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ's word. Then you have the minister of music. They overlook the church choir. Then you have a youth pastor. They look over teaching the youth the truth. Now, some of these people are paid. Some are, un are not paid. Money sometimes makes a person act funny. Money makes a person act funny. Churches don't want to tell Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ rules or stories because they are afraid the truth will stop people from attending church. If the people stop attending church, that means no money for the church. So a lot of churches try to make people feel good rather than be good with God's rules. If a person was sick, you could, and, and they will give you $100 if you make them feel better. Or would that person give you money if you told them it's not all right, they are not all right? If you tell a person he will be all right, he will pay you. If you tell a person he's not all right, he might not pay you or pay some other person to tell him he's all right. That's what the church is doing, telling people they are all right so they can get the money. When in reality, they need God's rules because they are not all right. They're living in sin. When really they need to tell the people they are not all right to make them well, and save them, not worry about saving the money, worry about saving the people from sin and stop telling them it's all right, it's all right, God is all right, everything is all right, it's not all right. People are dying of sin and they need a savior, that's why they come to church. But the preachers are so worried about that $100, that $100 that they can get, that they say it's all right, you're perfect. And that's not the truth. These preachers are lying to the people. The truth is, Jesus and his 12 disciples preached God's words and truth and righteousness. And they didn't receive no money. Be the church or go to church. Make a turn from being cursed. It is written in Matthew 10, 7 through 8. Jesus said to his disciples, As you go, proclaim the kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have sickness, 
drive out demons. Freely you have received this power. Freely give it. And these churches nowadays are not giving it freely. They're charging the people, telling them they have to give. They have to give. We're charging you. And if you don't give, you can't attend this church. That's what they're saying. If you don't give to us, you won't receive God's free gift of love and life. That's a thief for you, a thief and a liar. It is written in Corinthians 1 Corinthians 3, 9. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field, God's building. It is written in Romans 12, 4 through 5. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we Though many form one body and each member belongs to all the others. It is written in Matthew 18, 20. For where two and three gather in my name, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus said, I am with them. Jesus Christ didn't say you have to go to a building. He said where two and three gather in my name. I am with them. He didn't say you had to pay the pastor or the preacher. He said, well, two or three gather in my name. I am with them. These churches are disobeying God's rules for the love of money. They want to be rich. They want to be wealthy, have private planes and Rolls Royces and Lamborghini trucks. The name brand clothing. So they telling the people lies and the lies you have to give to them to receive God's free gift. The lies you have to give to these preachers to be saved and inherit the kingdom of heaven. They lied and robbed the people. Be the church or go to church. Make a turn from being cursed. It is written in Matthew 16, 18. I tell you that you are Peter. And on this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of hell, Hades, will not overcome it. Just as one body, there are many parts. But all these parts are from one body. And the one body is Jesus Christ. So again, have the faith. It doesn't cost you money to have faith. It doesn't cost you money to read the Bible. Most Bibles are free. It doesn't even cost you money to have a Bible. It doesn't cost you money to obey God's rules. It doesn't cost you money to get to heaven. So stop listening to them fake preachers out there. Believe in Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ. Minister Marcus Jackson doesn't charge for a lecture, doesn't charge for a lesson, doesn't charge to save people's lives. I do this for free. I do it for free and I will never charge and I will never charge and I will never charge. What is given free to you, give freely, says Jesus. If you live by those rules, you too will inherit the kingdom of heaven. Well, then some churches might say, well, how are we going to survive if we don't get money from the people? How are we going to survive? The rich man on earth sells products. The rich man on earth sells products. The churches can buy fish and have fish fries. The churches can sell t-shirts or sell a product instead of asking the people, poor people, for their last earned dollar telling them they can't receive God unless they pay money. That's a crook for you, a crook. Not an honest person, a crook, because they've lied to you. Jesus Christ said, well, two or three are in my name. I am with you. It doesn't cost money to have faith. 
It doesn't cost money to go to heaven. It doesn't cost money to obey Jehovah God and Jesus Christ's rules. It doesn't cost money for a Bible. It doesn't cost money to read the Bible. All of these are free gifts from Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ. It is written in Ephesians 2, 20 through 22, built on the foundation of apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone and whom the whole structure is being joined together by, grows into a holy temple in the Lord. In him you are being built together into a dwelling place by the Lord, by God, and by Jehovah God's Holy Spirit. Jehovah God is the Holy Spirit. The devil is the evil spirit. All the angels in Jesus Christ are spirits. But Jehovah is the one and only Holy Spirit. It's just like if somebody said, I will send my flesh. I will send my flesh to greet you. Well, Jehovah said he will send his Holy Spirit, meaning he will send himself to teach you. And that's a free gift. You don't have to pay a pastor to receive God's free Holy Spirit. It is written in 1 Peter 2, 9. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of Almighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ. Him that called you out of the darkness into the marvelous light. You don't have to pay a preacher to receive the holy light of Jehovah God, and Jesus Christ. You don't have to pay a preacher to read the Bible and follow God's and Jesus' rules. You don't have to pay a preacher to obey Jehovah God and Jesus Christ's rules. You don't have to pay a preacher to have faith and almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, well, two or three are in my name. I am with you. It is written in 1 Corinthians 12, 28. Almighty Jehovah God has appointed in the church first apostles, prophets, teachers, healers, miracle workers, don't let a man tell you you have to go to a Christian school to be a Christian or a prophet of God. Don't let a man teach you that you have to go to a building and listen to a preacher asking you for money to be a disciple of God. All you have to do is have faith and be born again. Be born again and repent from your sins. Obey the rules of God and go out there and tell your friends about God. Tell your family about God. You can even do like I'm doing and record yourself and put videos out there. You can be a disciple of Jesus and you don't have to pay any man to be that. It's a free gift. It is written. It is written. In Matthew 10, 7, 8, Jesus said, as you go, Proclaim the kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick. Raise the dead. Cleanse those who have sickness. Drive out demons. Freely you have received. So freely give. So remember, almighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, give you all of this blessed gloriness, all of these riches for free. And all you have to do is freely give. What goes around comes around. Each one teach one. Save as you have been saved. Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ, thank you for another blessed day. It is written in Matthew 23, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you tithe the mint and deal and have neglected the most important matters of the law of Jehovah God, which is justice, mercy, and righteousness. These you ought to have done without neglecting the others. 
See, so obey almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ. Jesus never tithed. The disciples never tithed. You see? Remember, we are here to follow Jesus, not follow the preacher down the street. And you might say, well, how can I follow Minister Marcus Jackson? You're not following Minister Marcus Jackson. You're following the truth and righteousness, Minister Marcus Jackson tells you. And you go research it for yourself, and all of it is God's word. That's who you're following. And Minister Marcus Jackson is following God and Jesus. So it's one hand passing it to another. Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ is passing it to me, and I'm passing it to you. But it's the same plate of food. Jehovah God and Jesus Christ created it. I'm eating off of it. You're eating off of it. Same plate of food. Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ, thank you for another blessed day. Church, be the church and turn from being cursed. Be the church and turn from being cursed. Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ, thank you for another blessed day. So remember this, be the church, but if you can go to church too sometimes, I mean, I've been to church plenty of times and sometimes the pastor says something good and it helps me out. So church does help, but remember, you don't have to pay somebody to do what you can do all by yourself. You can pick up that Bible and read it. You can have that faith. You can obey God's and Jesus' rules. You can live for God and have that faith and do right. All of that is a free gift. And when you are saved, pass the gift on to someone else and save them. If we save each other, we can all live a good life. A good life. Thank Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ for another blessed day. This concludes the episode of God Loves You. I'm Minister Marcus Jackson. Thank Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ for a blessed day. Be born again and repent from your sins. Start fresh and stop sinning. Sin is disobeying Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ and their rules. Sin ends in death. Love makes you evolve. Faith seals your fate. B.C. and A.D., we live on God's time every day, all day. Love Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, with all your heart, mind, and soul. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Church, be the church or go to church. Make a turn away from the curse. God bless all the pastors and preachers out there who preach God's word. God bless all the disciples and all the ushers and everybody in the choirs and everybody who make up the church. Because I never said church was bad. I just said that you can learn God's rules and obey God and have faith in God by yourself. But at the same time, if you feel a little discouraged or you need some help, turn to the church. You know, I listen to church people like, Creflo Dollar and T.D. Jakes, Joel Osteen and uh, Charles Stanley and all the preachers, you know, and they're not all good, but they're definitely not all bad. Each one teach one. Pray for the preachers and the people in the church and go to church or be the church. Love church and turn away from the curse. Thank Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ for another day. We're going to end this off with the Lord's Prayer. The one and only prayer Jesus taught us how to pray. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Please give us this day our daily bread. 
And please forgive us of our trespasses as we have forgiven those who have trespassed against us. Please lead us not into temptation, but take us away from evil. For thine is the kingdom, for thine is the power, for thine is the glory, forever and ever and ever. Almighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, thank you for another blessed day. God bless.